everyone it's kelly welcome back to my channel welcome to my new subbies and happy friday today i have part one of a dollar tree haul and i'm going to be showing you some holiday items that are out and some gift giving ideas so let's jump right in starting with these two cuties i am so in love with these when i saw these on the shelf i knew i had to get a couple of these this is santa claus and i love that he has the non-traditional buffalo check little hat there so sweet these are about 13 inches tall yeah, they're about 13 inches and they do have that heavy rice bottom so they can stand up if you want here is the snowman i'm in love with him he has the matching scarf to the hat so i thought these would be adorable over by my mantle place and this is what i was thinking that these are just like those little bunnies that we ran around looking for in the spring the little chocolate bunny and the little vanilla bunny i absolutely love these they are plush they're washable they're super adorable and i knew i had to pick these up for our holiday decorating but it gets even better they have some elves <laughs> i did bring a pair of the little elves i thought my granddaughter would love to see these and have these by the tree i'm one of those that just loves a whimsical christmas everything that looks like the toy story santa's workshop i am so obsessed with like north pole frosty the snowman ish so this was perfect when i saw this so these are the four that came home with me and i am absolutely loving all of them so let's see if we can stack them right over here <laughs> so you can see everybody as I'm chatting. I also picked these up. I am super excited to find these. These are the gingerbread ornaments. They are calling them an ornament. And I thought these would be absolutely splendid to do some DIY. Here is one without the lid. You can always put some little pom-poms, some sequins, some gems, some little um, beads, and send these along in some friend mail. I'm starting to lose my voice. I'm sorry about that. My granddaughter was sick again. <laughs> she came over on Sunday all yucky poo, and now it's going through the house. And I did buy four of these because I knew if I went back for them, they would be long gone. Here's what I thought that I would do. This is why I took the top off of this one. Pour some acrylic paint down in here, shake it around a little bit, let it dry out, and it can be any color gingerbread that you want. And I was thinking of doing some pastel gingerbreads, so stay tuned for that. I also picked up one of the Santa Claus. They also had a, a Christmas tree, and then of course the traditional round ornaments and the uh, shaped ornaments. I think there was one other character though, but I did pick up one Santa Claus. I would love to have the time. If you have the time or the patience or and or the patience, I have the patience, not the time to paint the details of the Santa. It would be amazing. Beautiful, beautiful done. So I did pick up one of those. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited for these. I picked up one, two, and three. This one did open up, but this is the snowballs. I am so excited that I found these. And the reason why as many of you know Oliver and uh, Oliver is a little cat that I rescued in fact I'll link my Instagram down below that would be a perfect idea I just realized he's on my Instagram so my Instagram is linked below I'm public everyone can see it and there's a post called gotcha day it's a little video montage that I put together for him for when we decided a year ago to finally make him part of our forever home. I was able to catch him and you know, one of those little catchers and take him to the vet, make sure he was okay. And then I promised him, this is your home. Anyway, one of those videos in the video, so one of the clips in the video shows him playing with these. It took me months my friends months to work with this little kitty cat to get him to come out from under furniture to stop hiding you know in little nooks and crannies and hissing and spitting and fighting at us because life had been horrible for him so one way that i did it was to throw these little balls at him i have a box a wooden crate by our christmas tree that says snowballs five cents each it is adorable i love it it's one of those ones that i got the craft fair and inside i stacked a bunch of these little balls that i got from i think amazon or one of the companies that sells these oriental trading so i bought a box of these balls and i keep them in that little you know snow day wooden box so I would take them out and I would roll them across the floor and he lit up like a Christmas tree pun intended his eyes got all twinkly and he started to come out from under things and like paw at them it got to the point where I was able to 
get him to chase these balls and now they're all over the house. So that was my long-winded story of why I buy these when I see these. And I'm going to go back for more because he absolutely enjoys these little snowballs. So I had to pick up a couple packs for him. They have the smaller ones if you want to use them for crafting or for some projects. And I decided to get these because these are his favorite. He doesn't like the medium ones or the smaller ones. I think they get stuck in his paws. And then I see him doing this. But these, he just he's able to bat it around. It looks like he's playing soccer by himself. So since I got all of those, I got a sweet little new tray, a little carrier. And these are the ones that you see a lot of college kids taking their stuff to the bathroom. Keep these in your car trunk for all the little shoes or anything you don't want sliding around. These are those beautiful for $1.25. This is perfect. Absolutely amazing. And it is by the Greenbrier. And this is what I thought. I could put all of his little snowballs in here and have this by the Christmas tree. So I got red. They do have a lot of uh, blue, green, browns. Just like that, I can put all of his little snowballs in here and so that way he can either reach in by himself, which he does, he stands on his, his two hind legs. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. He looks like a meerkat and then he'll reach into things. So that's what I got this for. So I got him a sweet little carrier. I'm sorry, I know that was long-winded. Y'all didn't need to hear about Oliver. I picked up this one. I thought this was adorable. They had the little classic truck. They had one with a sweet little snow snow theme with all the snow people and Santa Claus. I might go back for that one. Speaking of which that I just found today, stay tuned to the end of this one because there is something weird going on at Dollar Tree. Let me show you what I found. But this is the gingerbread little adorable tray tin. Is that what this is called? Cute for cookies. This would be perfect for $1.25. Y'all, put a little tag on here. Send it to the teachers with some handmade goods or something that you personally made, like a little ornament. Okay, you following me here? We can put a little ornament down inside there. How cute. I love these little pins. And then these are the ones that if they decide, you know, to keep all year round, it's even more adorable. You can have that all year on your desk. Got this for my little granddaughter's stocking. Like I said, I'm trying to put some stuff ahead of time. Of course, I got her this one because it had gingerbreads on it. <laughs> I might even use this if she decides she's finished with this pad. Truthfully, she'll have this long before Christmas. I'm pretty sure that we'll use this before then. When we go to a little restaurant, I always, you know, keep something in my bag. Or if we're at the dinner table and she's done, I usually find her a nice little treat that Oma got for her. So this will probably go before Christmas. How cute are these? I did not see these last year. These are little Christmas tree and horse-drawn sleigh ride ornaments. These are soft little plush bags and I'm so in love. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. If you do tear trays, coffee bars, how stinking cute are these? I love the homespun Christmas, the country cabin, that type of, you know, look. I love, love that. So I would have a hard time deciding between that type of decor or the whimsical fun one. But I do absolutely love these horse-drawn sleigh rides. 10 cents. I Oh my gosh. When I saw these, I just, oh, I melted. I did. I picked up a wrapping paper because gingerbread. <laughs> I have the Tim Holtz gingerbread dies and I thought these would be perfect to do something creative with. Not just to wrap all the presents, but I thought I could use this in some cards somehow. And then of course, Kathy has her uh, I almost called it Wallpaper Wednesday. Wrapping Paper Wednesday, where she does something creative with wrapping paper. I used to do that with a card group that I was in where we would use our Christmas wrapping paper. We told each other, you have to save three pieces from Christmas time because in January, that's your challenge. <laughs> I might actually do that here on my channel as well. So this is one that I picked up. I thought it was cute. Looks like a bunch of little gingerbread cookies. And the rest is gonna be in part two, but before I go, you guys, they just brought these out this week. What on earth is going on at Dollar Tree? I am seeing some random stuff coming out. There is no no more Halloween at this particular um at this particular Dollar Tree, all of the Halloween is gone and it has been replaced by Christmas. But then randomly this week, I saw these on an end cap. I'm thinking maybe a truck came in late or maybe somebody found a box in some corner that they had forgotten about in the stock room <laughs> because these are adorable. I didn't see these at any Dollar Tree and I go to a lot of Dollar Trees during the... Um, you know, July, August, September time, even this month of October, I haven't found these 
anywhere. So are they brand new? Did they come out late? Did they come out and I just missed them all? Are these not the cutest? Y'all, I'm just obsessed with how adorable these are. So what I'm gonna do is hang on to these for next year. Maybe do some giveaways. How cute are these? These are teeny tiny little mini pails. I'm obsessed. I'm telling you, I got one of each that they had, and I'm kind of regretting not picking up a couple of more for next year. This one, oh my goodness, just so cute. So please let me know if you've seen these in the comments below. Say, yes, Kelly, you just missed them, girl. That's all. Or if you can say, yes, I saw them last year. I have never seen these ever, ever. Not this year, not anyone hauling these. So I am just wondering, where do these come from? Like, <laughs> Like these are just these ones snuck up on me and i thought i've seen just random everything at dollar tree so wait for a part two i have a, some few more goodies to share with you thanks for hanging out with me especially for listening to my, my little oliver and that's going to be it for this one please remember to like if you like my content hit that subscription with your notifications on leave me a comment especially about some of this stuff going on in here and i will see you soon on my next video Bye bye